Well, welcome to my studio. Today I'm working on another painting for my annual collector event in Santa Fe. And I showed you in the beginning of the video, I showed you the total image. It's a tall vertical painting. The outside dimension is 48 inches tall by 36 inches wide. And I showed you my initial sketch up on the canvas, which was done in my mixture of mud plus liquid. It's an oil wash. The mud is a mix of two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. So to begin I sketch, well first of all I make a, a pen and ink sketch and then I draw my plan up on the canvas with the mud oil wash. Now I have painted the wall and the the stucco wall around the door and then the rock wall over here. Now I'm going to start working on the bricks surrounding the door. And this is a doorway that's actually in California at Mission San Juan Bautista. And this is a, gosh we took pictures of this a long time ago. It's a beautiful old Spanish mission in California and so I'm sort of made up the, the rest of the painting around, around the doorway. So this is not meant to replicate the scene at the mission because this is entirely different. But I love this old doorway and so I'm going to, to incorporate it into my, into my courtyard here. I'm using several mixtures of my, uh, let's see, think about what all I'm using. I'm using cadmium orange which is two parts of cadmium yellow medium plus one part of cadmium red light. That makes my cadmium orange and into that I mix my mud mixture plus white. Then I've also, I have several mixes of that, light and dark shades. Then I'm also using a mixture, this is Phthalo blue plus a little bit of the cadmium orange plus white. And then this mixture has even some alizarin crimson into that, that mix. Now I'm going to make this a little bit darker up here because I'm going to have a bougainvillea. There's a bougainvillea here that's draping out over and will be casting a shadow onto the brick. And then I just, I paint my paint and then I come back. This is a mixture of my mud plus liquid and I come back to make the little separation between the bricks. And the edge is rough because the bricks aren't even. This little edge along here. Okay, I'm going to make this a little bit darker here just because this is in shadow. This, these bricks come out, they form a little ledge, so this is, this is going to be a shadow under here. And then I just start pick, putting up a lot of different color up here, a lot of texture. These bricks are old and rough, and so I just want to add a lot of heavy paint on it. see I put it on very textured. Now this side over here is going to be darker. And then you can see this is called a bright brush and it has a square end on it and that works very well to do my bricks. This is a mixture of ultramarine blue plus a little bit of orange plus white. And that's just gives some coolness into that shadow. And I'm not real specific on my bricks as far as the delineations between the bricks because I want this to be impressionistic. I want it to be very rough and I don't want to just outline each and every brick.
just want to give the impression of the bricks. Now I'm going to start with the bricks on the arch. And these have a little different, they're an orientation that works out from the center part of the arch. And up at the top they actually do a little differently. But let's let's get these in first. You can see I'm I'm using a lot of texture here. And I just use different colors. Because these old bricks are over the years the patina on them is just just really gorgeous. So these out here at the center come in at a little different angle to each other. So they Go ahead and as you can see, I just keep piling a bunch of different color up there. This adds just charm and texture to this. Here's I'm going to add a little white into my phthalo blue plus cadmium orange plus white mixture. I've added a little bit more white into that. And this makes kind of a mossy green, like there's moss growing on these bricks. And again, each, each set of bricks is individual. It's, so it's really fun to paint these. Once you start getting the feel for the bricks, I need to mix more color here. I didn't mix myself up enough color. Usually I, I try to mix all my colors so I don't have to mix while I'm working, but I just didn't use enough, didn't mix enough here. So I'm doing a little bit more. And then I just come around. For this and then I'll come back and add more color into it. Again, these are going to be in the light. So now I come back and add some of my lighter color over that. You can see how that square brush really makes it handy to shape shape these bricks. And it's really fun doing these old antique bricks because of all the different color in them. And that just adds a lot of interest in the painting. Remember, I show the entire step-by-step -step process of these paintings that I show in the video. I have the entire step-by-step -step process on my blog. It's posted there. You can subscribe to my blog and get an email every time I make a new post. And you can follow the entire step-by-step -step painting. You can, in fact, you'll be able to see the full painting on that. And the link is in the description below. And the address is also on the final frame of my YouTube video. Now these are going to be a little darker. And the, the perspective is a little odd because I have to put the camera at an angle to, to the canvas. So it, the perspective does look a little strange. Now I, I did dark where my shadow is going to be. And then I'll come back and add some lighter highlights here in between where the shadows are. And now this pops out a little bit here. There's a ledge here. And again, that's, that's not even. Now you can see here where this ledge casts a shadow then down on the wall. And I'm going to bring a little bit of my darker 
That's my mud mixture. And I've just kind of kept the paint on my brush so that that combines when I pull it down so it's not just a total, totally solid dark. I'm not going to do the rest of that down below because I want to determine exactly where my leaves are going to go. And but this gives you shows you how I, I do these, how I do the bricks. Now I'm coming back in. This is my mud mixture plus some of that ultramarine blue plus white, and this just shows the underneath of that. And then I start adding, I don't, I don't make these go down all the way. I just add a few little crevices here between, between my bricks. So you don't get, again, I don't want to just delineate everything. And I follow my paint. Where I have color separations like right here, then that's where I put in a a crevice. And this I'm using again that mud plus liquid mixture. Now there will be a little highlight here on the front edge of this ledge and actually on the ones up above too. And I can just take this, this is again, this is a bright brush with that square tip and I can just do it sideways and get that highlight. And then over here, this is in shadow, so that's going to be a little bit darker there. And my Bogan V is going to come over this area, so I'm really not concerned about this end of the of that ledge. But then down here, we're going to have a little bit of a goes underneath there. This kind of gives you an idea of how I do the whole whole doorway. And this again is not even right here because of those bricks. In between the bricks you've got the mortar and all that so that, that edge is not even. Go ahead and put my highlight here. And part of that may be in shadow. It depends on where that uh, leaf is from my giant bird of paradise. I'm not worried about that right now. So there we go. That's how I paint the bricks. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification every time I make a new video and post it. And I just really want to thank all of you for supporting me, for encouraging me, all of your wonderful comments. If you have questions, you can ask them in the comment section below. So you have a fabulous day and thank you again.